Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another really cool Dino Valley Chap May set to take a look at, and this is one that I've been kind of hunting for for quite some time because it features a super cool looking Allosaurus that I've really wanted to add to my collection, and uh, I had seen it like once or twice at Big Lots, and then at the time I think I was probably broke or something, and I ended up not being able to grab it at that point in time, and I've kind of regretted it for a little while now. Well, luckily I now have it here to take a look at with you guys. I now have acquired it, and uh, you can see that what we have in this one, we've got some sort of a very cool looking vehicle, which I think actually looks super cool, and then we also have an Allosaurus, a human figure. Looks like we've got some vegetation back there, and potentially the bones of a Tyrannosaurus as well. Kind of looks like that, maybe some sort of a small Tyrannosaur. But uh, again, the packaging looks really cool. I love the packaging of the Dino Valley line, especially these images that they include. They just have such a fun, super old school feel to them. And then, of course, you can see over here, we've got the Dino Valley logo. And then if we turn the set around, you can get a look here at the back and you can see all the fun stuff that's included in this set, this Chap May set. And you can also see a whole bunch of dinosaurs down here, which some look very Jurassic Park-ish, I will say that, or Jurassic World-ish, is that looks like Rexy and Blue right there, actually, as far as, like, the overall appearance. But we've also got a Dilophosaurus, a different T-Rex, and then a Spinosaurus. And I am desperately wanting to get a hold of the newer Chapmay Spinosaurus. I think it looks awesome. But anyway, let's go ahead, pop this box open, and check this out. So here we go. We have everything out of the box showing the entire set of contents, which one thing was actually kind of hiding. I did not see this initially, and we have those almost classic at this point kind of extras that chap may loves to give and uh you can see you know what we have going on with the skeleton definitely looks like a t-rex-ish sort of a skeleton we've got a human figure and then of course the vehicle and the allosaurus and the vegetation and everything looks really neat again pretty much what i expected it to look like if we get this vegetation over here I'm, of course, most excited about this Allosaurus, and I love that we can, you know, have some nice articulation in the legs so we can get it kind of leaning down in a much more natural position overall. The sculpt in classic Chapmay style is really vibrant, definitely a very nice looking sculpt. It has actually quite the similar look as far as the general design goes to the Papo Allosaurus as far as like those quills in the back but also similar to the more recent offering in the Jurassic World line as far as the Allosaurus goes in there as well with those kind of quills running down the back and uh, I definitely do like that I think it looks really cool but anyway what we're going to do now is jump to a closer look at all of this fun stuff and we'll check the entire set out from there so we will begin with what I was most excited about, and that is our Allosaurus. And you can see, first of all, the eyes almost look completely clear, but we do have kind of like glass eyes for the Allosaurus, and that's because the eyes light up, but it actually looks really neat like this. Like it almost kind of gives it a very creepy sort of a look with the way that the eyes appear currently, and of course being that kind of glass or plastic eye type look, it has that nice eye shine to it. But as you move through the head, of the Allosaurus, you can see we have some nice looking skin texture. You've got the nostrils right there, those classic Allosaurus crests. We also have a very dark tone of color, kind of like a dark brown for the face. And then you have some blues that kind of stripe up here through the palette and then circle around the eye socket. And then we have a lighter brown here for the lower jaw. You can also see that lighter brown kind of running along the jawline there for the upper side of the mouth. The jaw does articulate and it articulates pretty decently. You can go pretty wide. It doesn't close all the way perfectly, but it can articulate fairly decently. We have a very strange texturing to the inside of the mouth, but no actual tongue or anything in there. Not much in the way of detail on the inside of the mouth, unfortunately. As we move back here, though, you can start to see those sort of like ridges picking up here moving along the back they almost have a quill like sort of an appearance you can see these ones are a different tone of color kind of like a translucent greenish sort of a look which makes me think maybe they light up too i'm not too sure we'll have to wait until we get there as you move down though you can see almost like a scoot like slightly armored sort of an appearance to the back of the allosaurus moving down you also
also see that brown begin to diminish. You could see another stripe of it right there, but then we basically have this like lighter variation of like almost like an orangish brown that overtakes the large majority of the body. You can see again what I was talking about with how nice and vibrant the skin texture, the scale detail looks like. It really does look very nice and has that classic kind of uh, chap may appearance when it comes to the extremely highly detailed appearance to it. You can see the you know scale detail here of the lower jaw moving down. You almost have some slight scoots moving down the throat of the Allosaurus. And then as you continue to move down, we pick back up with that darker tone up here that kind of designs through a little bit. You can see the ridges, of course, decrease, and then they increase, and then they decrease, and then they really decrease, increase slightly, decrease, and then increase again, and then decrease back down. So there's quite a bit going on as far as the ridges moving along the back of the Allosaurus. The skin texture continues to look really cool. This is a figure, I think, that could benefit from a dark wash quite nicely. You do have a few little open areas here on the side for the sound, of course. As you move down, you've got some nice sculpted out arms nice muscle definition you can see the elbow present of course the arms articulate forward and back actually if we move the leg yeah you can see how they go nicely not too far but they definitely articulate fairly decently same for the other arm one really good aspect of this figure is that the wrists are not pronated so that's super cool straight away and again the detailing aspect is very nicely done when it comes to this you know kind of rough and rugged looking scaling of the allosaurus that lives in dino valley but then as we move back up here, you can see another little separation as we lead out to that darker tone again reappearing, and then I think it disappears completely. Yes, as we move out the length of the tail, we don't have any more of that coloration leading out. But you can continue to see, again, that almost heavily armored sort of a look to the tail of the Allosaurus. And on top of that, we have some nice curvatures there to the tail. But as you move back up here, you can see nice muscle definition in the thigh moving down, nice kneecap present, again the calf muscle as well as very nicely sculpted, and the skin texture again has that kind of rough and rugged looking scaling as you move through the body of the Allosaurus down into the foot sculpt. I like that the toes are all held nice and closely together. They do have a pretty nicely detailed appearance, nice scoots running down the toes. They do become a little muted on the middle toe though for some reason right here. But uh, overall, they look pretty decent. Unfortunately, no nail paint, but that's something that, again, is super, super common when it comes to Chat May. And then if you look here at the underside, you continue to, again, see how nice the detailing aspect looks. If we head to the opposing side, you can see the same style of sculpt and paintwork being an articulated figure. You're not going to see too much difference over here. But one difference that you do pick up on is the fact that we do have screw holes, unfortunately, on this side of the Allosaurus. And that as well is something that is quite common when it comes to the Chat May line. As far as articulation goes, again, we already stated we have the articulated jaw. You can see we have the articulation in the neck right there, the articulation in the arms. We also have the articulation of the legs which actually moves pretty darn nicely, and then the tail. Now, I didn't move the neck or the tail because I think they work together for an action feature, so let's go ahead and give that a shot. So they definitely light up. You can see the eyes light up. Oh, there we go. You can kind of make out those like ridges moving along the back lighting up as well. And we do have that same sort of a dinosaur roar that you see on their usual figures like the T-Rex and everything I believe has that same style roar. Then we've also got our Dino Valley vehicle sporting a really cool variation of a green and in, you know, typical chap may style we've got some very nice looking detailing throughout you have that very cool kind of a target sort of a Dino Valley logo right there in the front. You've also got the protection here on the front of your vehicle which is something you're going to want to have when dealing with dinosaurs we have this little area here which does articulate you can see you can move that around quite nicely you've also got that classic at this point dino valley logo here on the side with that sort of caution tape sort of a look and then you also have one of the things that i really actually like about this sort of like a caged in area which this as well is something that you would probably want to invest in if you are living or working in an area that is filled with dinosaurs you should probably have this on your vehicle to protect you from any stray dinosaurs so this is a really cool touch and this as well again is something that i think looks really neat on the vehicle and probably the most appealing aspect to it, I would say, is the fact that we have this included. 
And one thing that is cool, first of all, you can actually open the front here, so you can see you can look in, but this entire thing is actually removable, I believe. I think I had seen that on the back of the box, but we'll go ahead and take a look at the rest of it as we move through. You actually have a little hitch here on the back to apply a trailer, as uh, I would imagine there's been some trailers and stuff in previous Chat May sets. I actually definitely recall there being some, so you can, you know, swap out the trailer of a different vehicle, apply it to this one, but again, pretty much the same thing over here that we had seen on the initial side, just looking super cool. But let's go ahead and pull this off. And once you pull it off, you now have, as I knocked the Allosaurus over down there, but you now have a uh, kind of almost like a classic sort of Jeep-like look to it. And uh, again, just opening up the entire inside for us to get a look at what the vehicle looks like, the seats and everything. So it is pretty neat to be able to alter the vehicle a little bit and take off the cage aspect and then reapply it so it goes back on it actually goes back on quite easily but that's very very cool then we also have ourselves a human figure and you can see that again we usually have this type of articulation with the nice turning of the head the hair is nicely sculpted out and nicely painted we also have the eyebrows and the eyes painted something that you usually find when it comes to chap may actually a really nice looking head sculpt right there and then moving down through the body you can see that he has a uh, kind of like a pinkish tone for his shirt and then he has a nice white shirt underneath that and then kind of a vest here and all of it has some really nice detailing to it definitely looks really good as far as that goes you can even see like some creases and everything here in the shirt and then moving down you continue to see again more as far as like the creasing in the pants and just general really nice really high quality detail as you move down into the boots and we do have articulation in the arms you can see forward and back that's about it as far as that goes you sometimes have chat may human figures with articulation in the elbows and the knees but we don't actually see that here on this one you can see we do have hip articulation i don't think there's a swivel or anything no so just the arms the hips and the neck of our human figure but he looks really good definitely a decently sculpted human figure and quite nicely painted then you've got some vegetation this as well as something that you do find quite often in these chap may sets it's something that we've taken a look at uh, many times already in the past when it comes to previous chap may releases and then again our classic extras here that you usually get when you get a few different things from chap may just to add an extra bit of playability to your set and the final thing included is this really kind of uh, cool pop out skeleton and you have kind of like a t-rex uh going on here i think it looks like a t-rex i believe we've had this in the past as well i do recall building one of these on a previous review which uh is you know just a kind of a fun little extra that kids would definitely enjoy but definitely a really cool set, so let's go ahead and check out a measurement. As far as a size goes for the vehicle from the front to the back, you are looking at about the, I'd say about 12 and 3 quarter inch or about 32 and a half centimeter range. And then for a height to the highest point of the vehicle, about eight and a half inches or right around 21 and a half closing in on 22 centimeters and if we move the vehicle out of the way and we bring our allosaurus back in here and then smack the light and reposition the legs as we have quite a bit going on here if we actually you know size it up in the position that it was originally in in the packaging for a length you are looking at about the 13 and three quarter inch range or around 35 centimeters and then for a height, because this was the position I believe it was originally in, which is a bit higher than the position I personally would keep it in, just shy of about 8 inches or a little over 20 centimeters. And then the only thing other than that I think that we would really need a size on would be the human figure and only a height. So you are looking at about the 4 inch range or 10 centimeters, maybe just under for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack, Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon next to our Chap May set. And you can get a pretty good idea of the fact that, first of all, the Allosaurus definitely has a pretty decent size to it. The human figure from Chap May is slightly taller than what you see there with Robert Muldoon. And the vehicle overall definitely has a very impressive size to it. So... One thing you can definitely commend Chap May for is delivering quite sizable play sets and multi-packs, that's for sure. But for another comparison, if you are a collector of the Chap May line, one figure I love bringing in for a comparison all the time is the Chap May Tyrannosaurus Rex because it is 
probably one of, if not the most popular Chap May figures of all time. So one that I always feel like is a decent one to bring in for a comparison. It's also one of the coolest looking ones of all time. But you can get a pretty good idea of the size here next to this set. And then for another comparison, when it comes to similar style figures, we have the Jurassic World Extreme Damage Velociraptor and a Jurassic World Dilophosaurus here next to this Chap May Allosaurus set. And again, you can get a pretty good idea of the fact that it does have a pretty good size. Definitely a nicely sized Allosaurus, a very nicely sized vehicle. So uh, hopefully these figures will help to show you that. And then for one final comparison, because it's another one of those instances of a set where I don't really know what would be good comparison pieces with it. We have the randoms again with the Safari LTD Utyrannus, the Collecte, Dimetrodon, and the Schleich Diabloceratops, just to stand in for one final size comparison. So this is another really fun set from Chap May, definitely a really cool, very jam-packed set from Chap May, and one that I'm really excited to have in general because I've been wanting that Allosaurus for quite some time. But as a whole, this set isn't just cool because of the Allosaurus, it's also cool because we have some really fun extras like the dinosaur skeleton which i actually did not put together or anything because i have done that in a previous review uh again make sure you check out my chat may playlist to check out all kinds of other chat may figures and chat may reviews where you'll see more as far as like that skeleton and stuff goes but uh they're pretty fun you know something that kids will definitely enjoy you also have the extras as far as like the Little accessories like the binoculars and stuff like that. Definitely something you see often in Chap May sets, which I think are always fun to have. I remember when my son was young and I used to get the Chap May sets from Toys R Us here in the United States for him. He loved that stuff. I'd always have to sit there and break those out as soon as we got home. So something that I know for sure kids enjoy. The vehicle is awesome. I love the vehicle. It has a really cool appearance, really cool colors as well. I like the you know greenish tone of it. On top of that, the addition of that caged in area for the top of the vehicle just gives it that you know almost lost world jurassic park sort of a look to it which i really like and as a whole the vehicle has a nice size to it nice sculpt it's just a really cool vehicle overall and also sports some pretty fun articulated areas throughout and it works really nice and smoothly overall we also have the human figure which is pretty nicely done again Nothing to really write home about, but he has a really nice sculpt, pretty darn nice looking paint job, very highly detailed appearance, and some pretty cool articulation on top of everything. So that is also another fun aspect to this set. You've also got the vegetation, which just kind of creates a pretty cool scene for you, something that as well I think you know kids would enjoy, but even as an adult collector it does help as far as the display goes. And then we have the Allosaurus, which is the thing that I'm most excited about when it comes to this set. And even though, you know, it could have included a little bit more paint work, it kind of has a fairly decent, fairly realistic looking paint scheme to it. Again, there's not a whole lot going on with it, but the tones of color I could see potentially being the colors of an Allosaurus. It also has some really nice fine detail, kind of, uh, again, that Dino Valley style detailing through the entire body of the figure. And on top of that, some pretty fun articulation, a pretty cool action feature. We've also got some noises, a light up effect. And I like the overall general design of the Allosaurus with the ridges and everything moving down the course of the back. So as a whole, this is another really fun set for sure from Chap May. So if you are interested in picking this up, make sure you head to your local Big Lots or Family Dollar because those are the two places that I most often see Chap May products for sale. And that is also where I initially had found this Allosaurus was actually at Big Lots. So make sure you check your local stores. Maybe you'll be able to snag this set. If you do see it, definitely pick it up because it is pretty fun. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.